Almost all of us have come across or religiously watched a crime-based series or film where certain criminals break into computer systems to gain certain confidential information and use the same for their selfish, malicious interests. Then, a cyber forensics investigator is called in, who heroically tracks down and reveals the identity of the culprit through various techniques. Such climactic points often send chills down our spine. But do you know what cyber forensics is actually about? And how exactly does the cyber forensics investigator track down the culprits and emerge as the hero? In this course, you will learn about the various terminologies and other particulars related to cyber forensics. So stay tuned to dive into the details related to cyber forensics. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing. So make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video. Any queries or suggestions and I will respond to your comments. So it's time for you all to get to know what is the agenda for this entire course. Initially, you all will understand what is cyber forensics and the need for cyber forensics. Then we'll discuss about the cyber forensic process and types of cyber forensic. Next, the difference between cyber forensics and cyber security. Later on, you all will get to know what are the different skill sets required to pursue a career in cyber forensics. Then you all will get to know who is a cyber forensic investigator and the different cyber forensic tools. Towards the end, you all will understand what are the different challenges in cyber forensics. So stay tuned to learn in detail about cyber forensics. Cyber forensics has become one of the most important fields over the years with an increase in the rate of cyber crimes. So what is cyber crime? Cyber crime is nothing but a criminal activity that involves computer or any digital device. Cyber forensics is also known as computer forensics or digital forensics. So let's now look at the definition of cyber forensics. Cyber forensics is the process of investigating and analyzing digital data which is gathered as evidence in criminal cases. The main goal of cyber forensics is to perform investigation in a structured format to document the evidence to produce to the court of law. Hope you all understood what is cyber forensics. So let's move on to the next topic. Since you all are learning about cyber forensics, it's very essential for you all to understand the need for cyber forensics. Few major need for cyber forensics are mentioned here. Cyber forensics is used in fighting against cyber crimes like hacking and denial of service attacks. Hacking is the process of identifying weaknesses in a computer to gain unauthorized access to a computer to obtain confidential information. Denial of service attack. Denial of service attack is also called as DOS attack. This attack usually occurs when the system receives traffic beyond the threshold to congest the server. DOS attackers usually attack servers of large organizations like government companies, banking sectors and media companies. This attack usually damages the reputation of an organization. Cyber forensics aims to find out the culprit and the motive behind the crime. On completion of investigation, the evidence is documented and produced to the court of law in the form of a cyber forensic report. Most importantly, cyber forensics maintains the integrity of evidence. Last but not the least, cyber forensics is also used to recover lost data using various cyber forensic tools. To find out who the culprit is in a criminal case, a cyber forensic expert performs a cyber forensic process which comprises of five stages. So let's see what are those one by one. The first stage is identification. So at this stage, a cyber forensic expert finds out what is the evidence, where it is stored and who can access it. The purpose of the investigation should be crystal clear before proceeding further to the next stage. The second stage is preservation. So at this stage, the evidence is preserved and secured to prevent unauthorized access. Since the evidence is the heart and soul of the investigation, it is isolated to prevent tampering with evidence. The third stage is analysis. At this stage, the cyber forensic tools which are to be used are identified. The evidence is interpreted in a structured manner to draw conclusions. 
The fourth stage is documentation. The entire crime scene is documented, mapping all the evidence to recreate the crime scene in a realistic manner. The last stage is presentation. So at this stage, the entire investigation process is documented and presented to the court of law in the form of a cyber forensic report. Hope you all have understood what is a cyber forensic process. We will be discussing about seven different types of cyber forensics in this course. So let's see what are those one by one. The first type is disk forensics. It is the process of extracting cyber forensic information from storage media such as USB, hard drives, floppy disks, CD, DVD, etc. The second type is database forensics. It is a process of extracting cyber forensic information from databases and associated metadata. Database is an organized collection of data. Few popular databases are Oracle Database, SQL and MongoDB. Metadata is data that describes other data. The third type is Network Forensics. It is the process of investigating and analyzing network traffic to find out the source of attack and other valuable evidence. The fourth type is Malware Forensic. It is the process of identifying the malicious code to find out who the culprit is and the reason behind the attack. Malware is nothing but a software that gets installed into your computer when the user clicks on a dangerous link or an email. Few popular types of malware are virus, worms, trojan and ransomware. The fifth type is email forensic. Email forensic is the process of investigating the emails related to a criminal case. It involves recovery of deleted mails also. The sender and receiver details along with the date and time are also investigated and analyzed. The sixth type is memory forensic. It is the process of investigating and analyzing forensic information in computer's memory dump. Memory dump is a storage location where the system stores a memory backup in case of a system failure. The last type is mobile forensics. It is the process of retrieving evidence related to a criminal case from a mobile SIM card, SMS, MMS, audio, video, etc. So hope you all have understood what are the different types of cyber forensics. So it's time for us to discuss the difference between cyber forensics and cyber security. Cyber forensics is the process of investigating and analyzing digital data which is gathered as evidence in criminal cases. Whereas cyber security is a practice of protecting systems and networks from digital attacks. Cyber forensics focuses on recovering lost data in criminal cases, whereas cyber security focuses on protecting sensitive information. Cyber forensics focuses on how an attacker gained unauthorized access, whereas cyber security focuses on preventing unauthorized access. There is no one formulated way to become a cyber forensic expert. But few basic skill sets that are required to start a career in cyber forensics are mentioned here. A bachelor's degree in computer science or information technology will lay a foundation to start a career in cyber forensics. Technical, analytical and good problem solving skills are very much required. Soft skills such as passion towards the domain, strong communication skills, flexibility and critical thinking are essential. The candidate should have good knowledge about law and cybercrime investigation. On the technical front, the candidate should have good working knowledge of programming languages such as HTML, ASP, C, C++, Python, Java and others. The candidate should have good knowledge about operating systems such as Windows, Linux, Unix and iOS. The candidate should also have expertise in cyber forensic tools. Cyber forensics investigators are responsible for collecting, preserving and analyzing digital evidence for the purpose of tracing down criminal threats. The role of cyber forensics investigator begins when a data breach has been occurred and damage have been done to an organization. Let's look at the definition of cyber forensics investigator. Cyber forensics investigator is a professional who works with law enforcement agencies and other private firms to retrieve information from storage devices. They also uncover hidden information and document evidence to make it presentable to the court of law. Cyber forensics investigators have sharp eye for detail and they use incident analysis skills to solve criminal cases related to corporate espionage, hacking, online frauds, etc. There are various cyber forensics tools. 
but we will be discussing about 5 cyber forensics tools in this course. The first tool is SleuthKit. This is an open source tool which is responsible for extracting data from computer systems. It is a collection of Windows and Unix based utilities. This tool is responsible for analyzing disk based images. The second tool is FTK Imager. It is also known as Forensic Toolkit. This is an imaging tool that is responsible for creating forensic images of data without damaging the original evidence. Explico. It is an open source network forensic analysis tool. It recognizes network protocols. This helps to reconstruct the data acquired by other packet analyzers like Wireshark. OS Forensics. This tool is responsible for extracting forensic information from computer systems easily and efficiently. The last one is Bulk Extractor. This tool is responsible for extracting disk images and files without parsing the file system. So it's time for us to discuss the different challenges that are faced by cyber forensic experts. The cyber forensic process involves excessive use of internet and storage space. As the evidence has to be submitted to the court of law, the evidence should be authentic and free from tampering. The cyber forensic investigator should be well versed with the tools and techniques. Since the evidence has to be submitted to the court of law in the form of a cyber forensic report, the tools used for investigation should be of specific standards. Hooray! So we have come towards the end of this course. It's time for you all to recollect whatever we learned throughout this course. Initially, we learned what is cyber forensics, the need for cyber forensics, and the cyber forensic process. Then you all learnt about 7 different types of cyber forensics. Then you all got to know what is the difference between cyber forensics and cyber security. Next we discussed few basic skill sets that are required to pursue a career in cyber forensics. Then you all got to know who is a cyber forensics investigator. Later on we discussed few cyber forensics tools. Towards the end, you all got to know what are the different challenges that are faced by cyber forensic experts. Hope this entire course was useful and interesting to you all. Thank you all. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing. So make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video. Any queries or suggestions and I will respond to your comments.